it is really important to me. I, I don't really think about it so much just because it's life to me. But I mean, being at home to me, it allows me to skate with my crew. Like, you know, my crew is out trying to film most days. So I can just go jump in and get in the mix and try to get something. Um, but, you know, then I can also work on things at my house. Like I like to work on clothing and, and paint at my house. You know, so I always have a lot of different projects going on and then working on things for the store also uh, with my mom. It's like, I just feel like it's a good work pace for me being at home. Never helps out here? No, well, I mean, never at home. <laughs> what did he do? He's off skating all the time. Which I know. That's a work. That's how we got here. Not really. <laughs> it is. It's all good. Oh, that looks good in here. You know, on a skate trip, sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm in the van like all day, every day. Like, my creative juices aren't really flowing because it's just skate. And like when I'm here, it's like I have art to work on, clothing to work on, friends and family, a good crew to go skating. It's just like uh, all the pieces are there for me for what I really want to be doing, you know? When everything shut down here, it kind of put me in a, in a weird place and kind of a rut. I didn't have any uh, motivation to paint at the time and I didn't really have the motivation to skate. It just kind of froze everything up for me. It is blowing in the right direction though, even though it's like so much wind in every direction. I mean, the challenges are I'm skating the same city I've been skating for like the majority of my life and the same spots and, you know, kind of just having to work on the creativity, I guess, or digging a little deeper for sure. So that was definitely a challenge getting through that, but I think I'm at the on the other side of that now and I felt like I got some flow creatively, you know, skating and artistically after that and kind of got back into a new rhythm of things and a new uh, groove. The way I feel about <clears throat> what we ended up with feels right to me, regardless of how wrong the world went, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like maybe some of those lines I was able to film with Will uh, wouldn't have been there. And I'm so happy with those lines that being stuck in Virginia made me get those. It's like, you know, that's a silver lining to me. So yeah, when we first started filming for this video, I was just in like such a weird headspace, dude. I was like, honestly, like insecure of just like kind of the way I was skating and uh, that like made me skate less. So then uh, when I did skate, I was even worse because I was skating less and then I would start to feel shitty. I just had gotten a shoe and I, it was just kind of one of those things where I was just like, don't even really understand it. The low point was like right around the commercial time. My confidence on the day of the commercial was so low. I was almost like, felt like I was showing up to my first day at work for like a job that I like BS'd my way through the interview, you know? Like I was like, dude, my ankle hurts. I haven't skated in a month. 
I'm terrified of this spot. And uh, there's 300 people here watching me. I felt like a like I was like a boxer in like a 12th round boxing match that like you know like when a boxer gets like knocked out but they're like still trying to pick themselves up and pretend like they didn't just get knocked out and then they get hit again and they just fall right over and still get up that's like the last like five tries of that literally felt like that I was like dude I am gonna die well, I mean, obviously, it probably had a lot to do with the fact that I hadn't skated in a long time. And uh, just like the commit factor wasn't really working for me. And then uh, I think by the time it did start to work for me, my legs were just too far gone to have a chance to even like roll down that bank, you know. And then after that, I think about like literally the mental state of mind that I was in around that time and I don't even like recognize myself. Well, I mean, I think I wasn't feeling good about my skating, which kind of started to lead to like insecurity off of skateboarding. It's kind of like if skating's going good, everything is going good. And if skating's not going good, everything is not going good. So the video was an idea for a long time. Ohio was when I really started to feel like, uh, like I was a part of this. It, I think that's all I needed was like a good trip with like my friends and like just get that feeling again of what it felt like to like land something and then watch it with your friends on the camera. That was awesome. Everything fell into place. It led me to like be forced to be in a mental space where all I was thinking about was skating. Like the only days I would kind of take my mind off of things is when I was like too sore to skate. Like when it was like getting out of bed was kind of hard and then I would go surf that day. And then uh, I guess that was kind of like a reset in a way. But honestly, the whole time I was just bummed that I wasn't able to skate. I feel like I learned a lot of patience and focus throughout this whole process because it's easy to get distracted. And I feel like this year I've found a really good balance of being able to focus on what needs to be focused on, you know, and not bounce back and forth so much. The whole idea of filming a video part is like keeping this idea in your head for years and letting things come and go and keep molding until you end up in this final stage where you're like, okay, this is the video part now. And this year has gone into that for us for making these parts. And I think to me, the way things did end up for us is awesome. It feels really good to me when I watch the video, you know, and, and there have been plenty of things that brought us to this point, but it feels good. It feels like, um, complete, you know, regardless of whatever challenges we all dealt with along the way, you know.